Hi folks, this is Shafiq. In this video, we are going to discuss Dockerized Deface, a containerized facial recognition service for Python. But before we begin, please like the video and do not forget to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with the latest videos. Also, your comments are more than welcome. Thank you for your all support in advance. Normally, if you perform pip install the face command or install the package from its source code as illustrated here, we are able to run the face easily, but this requires to install its dependencies. What I mean, for example, here I'm having conda environment named Stefik, and as you can see, there are many dependencies installed in advance. Herein, some packages come with incompatibility with their versions. For example, in this environment, I'm using TensorFlow 2.7.0, but suppose that this causes troubles in 2.16 version. To avoid version-related exceptions, it's recommended to have containerized application, and in this video, we are going to focus on it. But before, in the face source code, we have a scripts folder and here as you can see i have a service shell script i'm going to run this before focusing on the dockerize service as you can see my api is up at localhost 5005 port this is serving and i'm going to use postman to communicate with the service and let's call face verification function first i'm going to access localhost 5005 port and call verify function and send an image pair image 1.jpg and image 2.jpg let's see what are they this is image 1.jpg and this is image 2.jpg they are both images of angelina julie so we expect to see this pair is same person as you can see servers returned the response and here we need to focus on the verified key and it's true this means that this image pair is same person as i mentioned i have a pre-installed environment and those packages are installed already the question can be perform the face functionalities in empty machine the answer is yes i'm going to deactivate my conda environment first as you can see now i'm using the base environment and normally required packages such as tensorflow are not installed in this environment for example my service is using unicorn dependency and this is not installed in my base environment to address this problem it's recommended to have docker and in that way we are going to containerize our api you don't have to install anything in advance and everything will be installed inside the docker image firstly i'm going to run my docker application Secondly, here you can see its icon and it seems it's already started. Then in scripts folder, as you can see, there's a dockerize shell script. And if you run this shell script one shot, this is going to run the face service via docker. But instead of running this, I'm going to perform each command one by one. For example, this is the first command and this is going to build the docker image of the base application while you can see the docker file of the device project in the root folder actually you don't have to change anything in this docker file but of course this can be customized for example this line installs the device package from the source code but if you want to use the pip version you can deactivate this line and activate this line in that way you are going to use as pip version but as a note source code may be more up to date than the pip package but in this experiment i'm not going to change anything in the docker file but as i mentioned if you want to change anything everything is explained in the commands in the docker file here i'm moving to the root folder of the face package and i have to see the docker file in this directory thereafter i'm going to paste the command I copied from the dockerized shell docker build dash t deep face deep face is the name of the image you can give any name for this and that retrieves the docker file in the current folder this is done very fast because I already built the image in the past and it retrieves everything from the cache but if you perform this docker build command then it's going to take much longer in the first time now my image is ready 
it's going to use a Linux image. It, as you can see, installs the required Linux or Unix packages here. It copies the source code. It installs the pip related dependencies and the face source code. Now, my image is built, but it's not running yet. As you can see, I'm going to use this command. This is going to run the built Docker image. Uh, the face image is going to be published at 5000 port. You can check it here. It's exposed at 5000, but in MacBooks 5000 port is allocated by AirDrop. That's why we will not be able to perform this command in the 5000 port. That's why I'm going to redirect the 5000 port inside of the Docker to the 5005 port in my MacBook. Now my application is running at 5005 port. This is still running and we are able to perform this verify API service call from here. But this path is not available in my Docker image. So if I run this service directly, this is going to return an exception. Firstly, this is clean image. That's why no pre-trained weights are available in the image. So it's installing it from the target. But once it's installed, you are not going to spend time to install pre-trained weights. As you can see, installing the pre-trained weights takes two minutes, five seconds. But thereafter, this request returned an exception because it states that image one path is not available in my image. We do, instead of sending exec image path, we can send a link of an image or base64 encoded string as image. Let's try to send the URLs. This is the first image URL and this is the second image URL. Here I'm going to duplicate this firstly. Secondly, I'm going to change the content of first image and second image. As you can see, this returned a response and it says verified K as true. In other words, this image pair as same person as expected and this is running from our docker i'm going to rename this face verification with url and what can we also do i'm going to duplicate this and call this with base64 encoded image they are both valid use cases for the face api i search image to base64k in the google and I'm going to use the code v 1 because the other ones allow you to upload maximum one megabyte image. But in my case, there are more than one megabyte. I'm going to upload my image pair here. This is going to generate the base64 encoded image. I'm going to use the second one here because the base64 encoded image must have a prefix data image and the extension. I copy it this one and paste it instead of image one's value. Similarly, I'm going to upload the second image and get the second text fields value from data image. I'm going to copy this instead of the second image value. And as you can see, this is returning a response and it's verified K as true. In other words, this image pair is same person as expected and this is run from containerized service of deep face and we just fit the base 64 encoded images similarly you are able to perform facial attribute analyze functionality of the face from the dockerized service you just need to send the url or base 64 encoded image here or call as represent function to get the embedding of the fat image let's try the represent function we are going to use vgg face because its pre-trained weights are already installed and i'm going to use the url as you can see we get the embedding for this image i'm not going to perform the facial attribute analyze because this is going to install the age gender emotion and race ethnicity prediction models pre-trained models and this is going to take some time but if you have time that's good to go so in this video we focused on how to run dockerized or containerized device in that way you don't have to 
install anything in advance everything will be installed in the image automatically from the docker architecture from the docker engine in that way we are not going to have troubles for incompatible versions of dependencies for both python packages or operating system related dependencies if you do like the video please like it on youtube and do not forget to subscribe to the channel also making comments will help the video to reach more people thank you for your all support in advance thank you all for everything thank you for watching the video and see you next time